brand tech here where tech is made simple if you are running an nvidia gpu then you may find this video of interest now i was actually requested to make this video and in case you're unaware there's a new update from nvidia that they are rolling out for their gpu display driver that now includes security fixes for 29 security vulnerabilities now i'm not running an nvidia gpu on this device but just to give a give us a better idea if we just head over to the nvidia security bulletin which was updated on the 28th of november which was just a couple of days ago in my region yeah nvidia describes the issue they say they have released a software security update for nvidia gpu display driver this update addresses issues that may lead to code execution denial of service escalation of privileges information disclosure or data tampering now that's quite a mouthful but the long and the short is that all you need to know is that if you are running an nvidia gpu that you need to make sure that you have the latest display driver installed to patch and fix those 29 security vulnerabilities now if we just have a closer look at the details regarding these uh, different vulnerabilities there are a couple here with a base score higher than seven and then the two most serious have a base score of 8.8 .8 and 8.5 so a very important security update rolling out for the display driver and for nvidia gpus now the display driver for linux has also received a, a couple of updates uh, in this latest security update so if you are running um, an nvidia gpu on a linux system yeah you can get the security updates for nvidia gpu linux display driver and for windows if we just head back here um yeah they have the security updates for the nvidia gpu windows display driver now if we just have a closer look um at the different um, products and the different drivers in this in this chart provided yeah is the software a product that is affected geforce studio nvidia rtx quadro nvs and tesla yeah, we have the different operating systems of windows the driver branch affected driver versions and updated driver versions so yeah you'll get all driver versions prior to and then you can see the different drivers and you need to make sure that you have the updated driver version to patch and fix and mitigate those security issues as described now um, if you want to download um, the updates from the nvidia driver downloads page then i'll leave a link in the description uh, to this um this uh, this, uh, this post by NVIDIA. If you click on that link, that will take you to the NVIDIA uh, driver downloads and you can just put in your product type and your operating system and all your different information. And that will then entail you to download the latest uh, driver for your NVIDIA product. And if we just head back to that chart quickly, um, just to mention something here that you might find of interest is that um, some of these driver versions are only available on the 1st of December. Now today we are already on the 1st of December. Uh, in my region so give or take wherever your region is currently worldwide this could affect you obviously where the 1st of December finds yourself currently so just come back at a later stage and maybe in the next couple of hours or the next day and just double check and if you haven't received the updated driver version then I'm sure you will be getting it sooner than later now if you don't know what driver version you are running on your system in case you're unaware if we just head down to the bottom of this um, security bulletin yeah we have frequently asked questions how do i determine which nvidia display driver version is currently installed on my pc if you click on that link and yeah it just gives us a bit more info so if you just right click on your desktop as an example you will get to your nvidia control panel and in your nvidia control panel you head to system information and yeah you'll see um uh, under your system information display yeah we get your different driver versions. so that's just a way an example that nvidia has provided that you can check to see what driver version you are currently using and then obviously you can update accordingly so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one